Um, long distance relationships. If you want to take that one away. Oh wow! What about them? Everything? Just that was a subject sent in. Long distance relationships. How many did I do? I did. Long one. distance I did two. relationships. I did three. Will kill you. I did three. I guess. Um, I think if you see yourself with the person for a very long time, then it's worth it. But uh, if you have any doubts at all, don't do it. Because if you waste all that time in the back of your head and you know you're going to end it, it's like you just wasted so much time and also so much energy because long distance relationships are so much harder than regular relationships because you have to put in 10 times more effort to like keep it there. So if you think, yes, 100%, this is the person I'm going to marry and your other person thinks the same exact thing, do it, go for it. And it totally could work. But if you have one inkling, like I knew I had an inkling, don't do it because you just waste time and then he drags out and then you just fuck everyone over. And if you're in high school and you think you're in love with them, you're not. Yeah. Hmm. I know they hate when I say that, but um, it's very true. Unless you live in the South, it seems like they have a different system going on down there. Yes, that's different, but um, still have so much fun. But keep, you know, long distance relationships with your friends. Keep of in touch course. with your buddies. And this isn't just for New York, but always say yes. Yes. Always say yes. Mm-hmm. When you're in your 20s, say yes Do to stuff. everything. Just say yes. I don't know. Get Not fucking heroin. get fucked. <laughs> Not heroin. Yes. Well, yeah. But <laughs> just meet. Try to meet new people and step out of your comfort zone. Because I feel like when we first moved here, we were little scaredy cats. Mm-hmm. But then we we were hanging out with people that we didn't even ever see ourselves with, and it was fun, and we got stories, and we got memories. So just yeah, do things. Like we said yes to. A, I said yes randomly to go to a, to a private jet to Miami with people I had met maybe a few times that's a hard yes i mean i would debate that fucking no, but i didn't days on days. know these people that's true like <laughs> it's just sit, do things it's fun it's kind of scary but then you have stories to tell just yeah. try to be safe yeah just i mean use your head guys everyone's saying that it's this is just a statement oh no how is everyone saying this summer will be like 2016 because I can feel it in my bones. It's got that radiant energy. Well, you know, it's not starting off too hot with this smog. The smog and your testosterone. Nope, your testes. What is it? What? You moron. My kidney stones? Yes. Yes. <laughs> but maybe that's just getting getting it all out. It's just it, it's blowing smoke up our asses because it's about to be the best summer of it all. Right? Come on. It's just pushing it all up. It's going to be the best, guys. Come on. If, I think if you just say it's going to be the best, then it's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Just have I mean, just fun. like um, low expectations makes for great a uh, great summer. So it's like. Uh, oh, then we're fucked. You just got to, you just got to, you know, roll with the punches. Okay. I don't know. Not much of an advice giver. I need, I need it more than anyone can. I can give to anyone else.